Millions of people across the country will make their way to malls and big box stores on Black Friday, but there is a nonprofit in San Francisco that is hoping to put the holiday spirit back into the shopping frenzy. KTVU's Frank Malicote has a look at one store in the city that has a personal touch and a greater mission. Gift giving is right around the corner in the Helper's Artisan Boutique on San Francisco's Union Street may be the perfect place to browse because the shop is a gift in itself. And the boutique is very unique and special in the fact that it is uh, only product and art created by individuals with developmental disabilities and special needs. The boutique is part of the Helpers Community, a San Francisco-based grant-giving nonprofit that's dedicated to helping adults with special needs. Their artisan boutique opened in 2019, and it's filled with beautiful handcrafted gifts from ornaments, jams and jellies, gingerbread platters, candles and artwork, all made by artisans with developmental disabilities. Now when somebody comes in this store, most times, if not all, it converts to a sale. They, they either feel as if they want to support our mission or they see something as just as such a great gift item, such a great value as a gift item. They, don't, they won't walk out without something in their pockets. It's true. Shopper Tony Rems couldn't resist a good buy. His sister is deaf, and the thought of giving back made his purchase all the more special. You know, there's just so many wonderful people, wonderful people in this community that... Um, they're just so caring and loving people and loyal and just wonderful and just uh, the ability to, if we have opportunity to help and, and give back a little bit, it just means a little something. Each item has its own story, like New England's Max Bain's beautiful heart stationery or Justin Sims' One Step Beyond Pottery in Arizona. Even the Helper's Boutique workers have a story. And this is the same one, but it's the cable car. Christopher Moyoka is the shop's operations supervisor. He's a member of ARC San Francisco, a nonprofit that gives the developmental disabled a voice, and in this case, a job. In fact, he's now mentoring others like Paul Arnott, learning life skills and how to become more self-sufficient. Does it make you feel good? Yeah, feel good. I feel relaxed knowing that there are other people like myself. I love working with new people and socialize with them. And teaching life skills. Yeah. Ones that you learned here, right? Yeah. yeah. And there's one more thing to say, Frank. You know, I think you're right. You ready, guys? Yeah. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! I'm Frank Malico, KTVU, Fox 2 News.